Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to load a film pack into this Instax Mini Link 2 printer. But before we begin, I wanted to talk about some different things. First, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And make sure that you've read through all of the information on the box of the Instax Mini Link 2 printer. And also make sure that you've read through all of the paperwork that comes with the Instax Mini Link 2 printer, including the user's guide and safety precautions before you use the Instax Mini Link 2 printer. Also make sure that you've read through all of the information on the box of the film pack and whatever information comes inside of the box of the film pack before you use the film pack. And second, I do have another video on this Instax Mini Link 2 printer showing how to unload a empty and completely used film pack from the printer. And if you want to learn how to do that first, I will link that video on the screen now. And I also plan to make future videos about this Instax Mini Link 2 printer. And if that's something that you're interested in, please check back for those videos. Okay, so you need to make sure that the printer is turned off and this printer is turned off, but I'm going to show you how to turn the printer off in case your printer is turned on. So to turn this printer on, I need to press and hold this button right here that says Instax for approximately one second until the printer turns on. I'm going to do that now. And I could hear the printer vibrate and I could feel the printer vibrate when the printer turned on. And then also where it says Instax, uh, there's light there now. And then also some light around the button. So to turn the printer off, I need to press and hold this button right here that says Instax for approximately one second until the printer turns off. I'm going to do that now. And I could hear the printer vibrate and feel the printer vibrate when the printer turned off. And then also the light uh, where it says Instax is no longer there. And then also the light around the button is no longer there. So now the printer is turned off. You also want to make sure that the USB cable is not plugged into the printer. So the printer needs to be both turned off and unplugged. Okay, now I'm going to gently pick up the printer and turn the printer over. And then I'm going to gently set the printer down. But I'm going to gently set the printer down this direction just so it's easier to see the film door on camera. Okay, now I'm going to get the film pack ready. So I'm just going to open up the box here. Okay, so this is the film door lock. So I'm going to hold on to the printer and then slide the film door lock over. And you wanna be careful when you do this because the film door will spring up 
So you want to make sure that your fingers or hands or anything else are away from the film door. Okay, I'm going to slide over the film door lock now. Okay, now I'm going to gently lift up the film door and you do not want to touch anything inside of the film door. Okay, now I'm going to open up uh, the packaging around the film pack. I'm just going to move the box out of the way and then I'm going to open up um, the film pack here. Okay, there's like a um, you know perforated piece right here, so I'm just going to tear the packaging off right there. And you want to be careful when you open this up. You don't want to put pressure on the sides of the film pack, and I'll show you why. So I'm just gently going to take the film pack out of the packaging. I'm gonna get the packaging out of the way. So you do not wanna press down on this piece right here or on these pieces back here because if you do that, um, it will expose the film inside and the film will be exposed and unstable. Okay, so there is a yellow piece right here. And then on the printer, inside of the film door, there is some yellow right there. So we wanna line up uh, the yellow on the film pack with the yellow um, inside of uh, the film door. So I'm just going to gently put the film pack inside of the film door and then I'm just gently setting, trying to do this so you guys can see. I'm just gently setting uh, the film pack inside of the printer. Okay. Okay, so once the film pack is in place inside of the printer, um, the next step is to gently shut um, the film door, which I'm going to do now. And you want to be careful when you do this um, because there are pinch points. So you just want to be careful when you close the film door. And you don't want to block this side of the printer because something is going to come out of the printer once I shut the film door. So, okay, I'm going to shut the film door now. I'm just gently uh, putting the film door down and then I'm just going to push the film door down until it's secured into place. Okay, and once the printer has stopped making noise, I'm just going to, you don't wanna pull this out, you wanna wait for this piece to be ejected out all the way. Um, and then once it has and the printer has stopped making noise, I'm just going to hold on to the printer with this hand and then gently remove this piece from the printer like so. Okay, and inside of the film is something called caustic paste. And you do not want that on you and you do not want that on your clothes. So I always think it's a good idea after I handle film or a film pack to wash my hands. And then you also want to make sure that you dispose of all of the packaging and this piece here that ejected out of the printer properly. So I'm going to go dispose of all the packaging and this piece here that ejected out of the printer properly and wash my hands and then I'll be back and we'll go from there.
Okay, so once the film pack is installed into the Instax Mini Link 2 printer, if you open the film door before the film pack is completely used, any remaining film will get exposed and become unstable, so be aware of that. And you should be able to see how much film is remaining in the app that is required to be able to use this printer. I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.